I like to go through the process of importing a spreadsheet into the electronic catalog of Transact POS. Let's go lay out the, the idea that uh, how, how this video will go together. We've received in a, for instance, a big green egg spreadsheet. Simply in an email. Uh, that receipt has a spreadsheet a PDF and another PDF. Those PDFs will not directly uh, be imported. The concentrate effort here is certainly on the spreadsheet. This is XLS. So inside that XLS, excuse me, XLSX file, you will find the description of the product, the vendor's item code, the UPC, and notice that it does have leading zero, so that does look good. As the model number, I'm assuming that's the model number that they're going to reference. As a cost, and then also has a SRP. So that is assuming their price we're going to have as the selling price for the, for the customer. So we have the, the major fields of any spreadsheet to pull in. So let's go and process this file in Transact just as it is. You could go through and remove records, etc. But let's, because it's coming into the spread into the electronic catalog, let's process it untouched and just see what we get. So, way how we do that is we're going to save this file. I'm going to just download this file. I'm going to save it. Into a particular folder. Let's see how everything's preserved. I'll save it in this downloads folder and I'm going to rename this to final import full spreadsheet. So that's really just simply untouched. And except XLSX. So we'll save it. And we'll remember where we put that. Next we'll go back to transact. First thing we want to do is make sure we have a vendor. In this case Big Green Egg. So we're going to go to IC vendor. We'll log in here. Big green egg. And yes, I have placed that certainly in the past. And I've indicated a check mark for an electronic catalog customer, but also put in BGE. The reason you want to do that is we will prefix that six digit vendor ID with BGE when it comes into inventory so that other six digit vendors. For instance, true value do it best. That same number won't get confused with another when you're looking it up. So if you want to look up a big green egg X, you would put big green, big green egg one two three four five six, and you would get specifically that item. If you put just a one two three four five six number, you may get a true value do it best and the big green egg product. Then you would have to choose. This just simplifies that process. So. Once you set up the vendor, you want to do a e catalog selection and then a prefix. So we'll select save here. Now let's go import that XLS XS file. We're going to go to IC maintenance import export. Go ahead and log in. We're going to go to electronic catalog import catalog and actually I've done this once before so what I'm going to do in this particular case is I'm going to back out of this for just a moment and I'm going to remove a catalog so you can do that under options electronic catalog and I'm going to remove I'm not going to be removing the inventory if there's inventory it's just the reference in the catalog 
So I'm going to accept, and then I'm going to remove the catalog. And yes, I'll confirm that. So 361 records are coming out of the electronic catalog. So now if we went and looked up a Big Green Egg product in the electronic catalog, we would not find any. So here's another path to the import button. Uh, you can, within electronic catalog menu, is go straight to import catalog here. We're going to select a source file of the XLSX, that file right here. I guess I need to go and I'll run down and select it this way with my mouse. I'm going to go to the ellipse to the far right, and I'm going to go find the file location that has that file in it. On this particular system, I have an underscore downloads folder, which I've put that in. That's the name of the file. This is the unedited copy of that XLSX file. We're going to select Open. We're going to go down to this Select Vendor option. And we'll put BGE here. There's Big Green Egg. And then we'll select Import. Next, you'll see the Column Definitions screen. What we'll do here is I'll pull Open a copy of that spreadsheet. Here it is right here. I'll move this down and then I'm going to scoot up to the very top of this so I can see what columns have what particular fields in them. And that'll be good right there. I'll switch back to transact. And then in this case, I'll minimize this a little bit just so I can see the top of the file. And I need to scoot this around a little bit. And that should allow me to do what just what I want. So the skew will be column C. So you select column C here, column B will be the description, column D will be the UPC, the model is column E, and then we have retail which I'm going to say it's the column J. Cost, column F. Now, I'm going to purposely make a mistake here. I'm going to leave out column B just to show you how the system will work. So let's continue on just so we know that we're purposely taking out description. We're going to select Save, and then we're going to select Import. So the system right now is processing the file, 423 records. The numbers that are going by are the item ID of the vendor, the six-digit value. Now, if we go to look up item, we're looking up inside the catalog right now. So we're going to look up. And I'm going to type in that second number at the bottom, that 117649. And it looks wonderful, except for the fact that no descriptions there. So just to show you that how do you address this problem. So there is the $1,300 retail, the $800 cost. If you did not recognize that description, let's go ahead and select Add Item. So we're going to add that item to inventory. And maybe we didn't pay attention. 
And once it gets over to inventory, which this screen is, we suddenly recognize that we have no description. And maybe you did this on a number of items and brought it over. So we're creating an issue so that we can show you how you can go correct it easily. So inventory has been received from a catalog that has no description. Other than that, everything is fine. You can move on with using this, but how do you correct such a problem? So what you can do is if we close out of this and we go back to import catalog, we go locate that XLSX right there. We select that full sheet again. We select big green egg, select import, and now we're going to, going to go ahead and align again. So what we'll do here is we will correctly choose B as the description. And what the system will do is locate the existing record and refresh with this current data that we're doing right here. So this would be the same as you get a new spreadsheet later on. This is how it will refresh a new retail or a new cost. So all you have to do with uh, correcting or refreshing a catalog is simply import it again. It'll locate that same record and resolve any cost or description case or description issue as in this case. So we're going to go model, which is E, retail, J, cost F. So we'll save here. It'll go ahead and process those records. And when we go and look at the catalog again, we'll see the description there. A little bit quicker now because it doesn't have to create all the records. It's now just simply refreshing some fields. Just a moment longer. So now that's completed. Let's go look at the item 117649. Now it has a description. If we go look at inventory, let me open the screen back up. One one seven six four nine. There's the item. It's a BGE product, but it has no description. So what you can do, you could type that in certainly, but there's a utility within options, electronic catalog menu, update catalog. We'll choose the BGE as the vendor. Select Accept, and we'll allow it to update the description. So now the catalog has a description, the inventory did not. We will update the inventory's description with this revised catalog information. So we just select Start here. It's completed, certainly a short run. We go to IC, Inventory File. And this particular case, I'm just going to do BGE. I should have a limited list of products, and there's the description. It's now updated the system automatically. Let's go look at that particular item and see what components are in that. We have the retail, the cost. Under lookup by, we have big green egg and the product number that they have, and then the UPC.